Mummified children found in Peru may have been a sacrificial escort to the underworld. Six mummified children thought to have been sacrificed hundreds of years ago, apparently to accompany a dead nobleman to the afterlife, have been unearthed in a tomb near Lima, archaeologists reported. The tiny skeletons, wrapped tightly in cloth, were found in the grave of an important man, possibly a political figure, discovered last November at the dig site of Cajamarquia about 24 kilometers 15 miles east of Lima. The children could be close relatives and were placed, in different parts of the entrance of the tomb of the nobleman's mummy, one on top of the other, archaeologist Peter Van Dalen, in charge of the dig, told AFP. The children, according to our working hypothesis, would have been sacrificed to accompany the mummy to the underworld, says Van Dalen. Aerial view of Cajamarquia Archaeological Site. Guadalupe Pardo, AFP. Cajamarquia was a city built out of mud in about 200 BCE, in the pre-Inca period, and occupied until about 1500. It could have been home to 10,000 to 20,000 people. Van Dalen said the mummies were about 1,000 to 1,200 years old. Nearby, the team also found the bones of seven adults who had not been mummified, as well as the remains of llama-like animals, and earthenware. Mummy with hands bound overhead, mummy of an important man, about 20 when he died, found at the complex last November. The remains of the supposed nobleman were found last year in a tomb some 3 meters 9.8 feet long and 1.4 meters deep in Cajamarquia, one of the largest archaeological complexes near Lima. He had been about 20 when he died and was entombed with his hands covering his face, and tied up with rope. In 2018, archaeologists in Peru found evidence of the biggest ever sacrifice of children, uncovering the remains of more than 140 youngsters who were slain alongside 200 llamas as part of a ritual offering some 550 years ago. Researchers determined that the children were between the ages of 5 and 14, although most were between 8 and 12 when they died, with their bodies buried facing west, out to sea, National Geographic reported. It is ritual killing, and it's very systematic, said John Verano, a physical anthropologist from Tulane University in New Orleans.